Hello all, back again. Today's statement reads, The space between the plates of a parallel plate capacitor is filled with dielectric material whose dielectric constant varies linearly from 1 at the bottom plate, or x equals 0, to 2 at the top plate, x equal d. The capacitor connected to a battery of voltage V. Find all bound charges and check that the total equals 0. So for our solution, let's consider uh, the high voltage is connected to the bottom plate, so the electric field points in the x direction. While the free charge density, sigma f, is positive on the lower plate and negative on the upper plate, if you connect the battery the other way, all the signs will switch. The susceptibility is chi e equal x over d. Remember, it changes linearly. And the permittivity, epsilon, is equal to epsilon naught, 1 plus x over d, which is how we get 2 at the top and 1 at the bottom. So between the plates, we can find the electric displacement d, uh, which we need to find first in order to find the electric field, since in order to find the bound charges, we need the polarization p, which we find p from e, and we use d to get e. So we see the triangle there mentally. Um, so d is equal to sigma f in the x hat direction, and we know that e is just equal to 1 over uh, epsilon times d. And uh, you see that's pretty simple. From there, we can find the voltage via the line integral of E. And then we can write the uh, free charge in terms of V. Uh, a couple steps in the calculus, but pretty simple integral. Uh, solve that for uh, the free bound or the free charge, um, sigma F. And we see that that's equal to epsilon naught V over D times ln of 2. Uh, and then when we plug that into the electric field, we see that the epsilons cancel, again, pointing in the x hat direction. Now that we have the field uh, in terms of V, and we got rid of the uh, free charge sigma F, we can plug that into find the polarization P using the equation P equal epsilon naught chi E times E. Uh, recall that chi E is equal to X over D, as in the first set of parentheses. And E is as such. We note that we have uh, we have a term for just the x, which is the second fraction, and a term for constants, which is the first fraction. Uh, this is important because, as we see in the next slide, we're going to have to take the uh, derivative for the volume bound charge. And um, so let's just go ahead and start that. The volume bound charge is equal to negative del dot p. And we see that we have the product rule. And uh, from there, we need to find a common denominator, uh, which is just 1 plus uh, x over d uh, multiplied to the numerator and denominator of the first fraction in the brackets. We notice that the factor of x over d cancels in each fraction, leaving us with the expression in the box, uh, where the volume bound charge is now equal to epsilon naught v over d squared ln of 2, uh, negative, times 1 over 1 plus x over d squared. All right, and then for the uh, surface bound charge, we need the polarization dotted with the normal vector. Uh, so at x equals 0, that's just 0. But at x equals d, we have epsilon naught v divided by 2d ln of 2. Pretty quick uh, to do that dot product. Uh, but then we need to find that the total charge uh, adds up to zero. So we have to take the volume integral and the surface integral respectively. We see that since they're uh, parallel plate capacitors, the area is just A. And that's why we use A there. Uh, so we can factor all those constants out. We have to evaluate the integral of 1 over 1 plus x over d squared. Um, and then that evaluates as such, leaving us with... Uh, the terms in the bracket, 1 half minus 1 plus 1 half, which indeed is 0. Pretty cool to see that come together.